So, despite money issues, I went all out and bought a new camera, which I'll show off later. But to do that, I had to sell a phone, and I bought the HTC One Mini Two. Now, I bought it in gold. I don't normally do budget phones, so to speak. But uh, this one was really, really pretty. Which is <laughs> all I can say. So, uh, it's kind of a second hand brand new. Uh, so, it's powered by a quad core 1.2 gigahertz. It's 1.3. Um, Snapdragon 401 processor. Uh, and it is pretty. Yeah, so like. Like. Really pretty. If I. Ah, oh, the phone's there. It's got a 720 uh, HD screen. Runs. Not sure which version of Android it runs. I'm not sure how long I'll keep it to be honest. I need normally need something a bit more powerful. It's a four and a half inch screen. And it's pretty pretty bulky for that. But it fits in the hand. Like if you've got big hands like me, it fits in there quite nicely. It seems fairly responsive. So what else do you get with it? It's gonna take some use getting used to another phone with the button, unlock button on top. So we've got the wire, just a simple charger, and this is where you can tell it's second hand, you know, there's almost nothing in it, and some fairly decent looking headphones to be honest, let's have a look, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video, uh, so these look not too bad, and, uh, at home are the I use not expensive headphones, but like 50 quid ones. Put them out and about. You know, I use cheaper headphones that I don't really need to worry about. So, let's put everything in here and hope that it works. For now, recently I've been using the um, Galaxy SK Zoom. SK uh, Zoom. And uh, I've been using that for videos. And it's fairly decent, but with this new camera, I simply don't need it. So, um, unfortunately, I bloody dropped it earlier. <laughs> um, I went all out with this new camera. Not gonna lie, it cost me a pretty penny, but it does mean that I will be making videos on a much more regular basis again. I'll show you that in a video shortly. So it's got one of these stupid things where you have to use the a special tool to actually open it. So, uh, but like I said, it is a very pretty phone. How does this go in? Does it just kind of slip in or what? Thanks for watching.